when can we see this picture? <laughs> not yesterday, not last week, but right now. Boys, let's hope to have the sleep. I had a little trouble. I ate the cans, but I got the film. You have a little trouble. <laughs> we fix that up. You take this, number one. This number two. This number three. You kick this head. Kick this around till you have number four. <laughs> what is was the last picture you made? What is was the last picture we see? The voice of a nation. You see? There's no other trouble with your pictures. You don't got enough stars. No? What's wrong with those stars? Well, that pizza stars? Are you like that? What you need is pizza stars like this. Let me further repeat what I'm telling you. You need high class pizza stars like this. Uh -huh. Professional jealousy. Hello? Uh, the operator is ready. Big snappy kid. Okay. Gentlemen, will you be seated? Darling, I've got to go. You've got to go? Yes, I've got to go. <laughs> well, if you've got to go, you've got to go. What's the idea? The end coming on the screen right at the beginning. Well, that's a new technique, Huey. We commence when the others is finished. Tell them about the dancing girl. I'm poor, Daniel, forgot to tell you. Now is comes the big minute. When you see the girls is dancing, you think they be Chinese girls. No, sir, you boy. Because real Chinese girls is dance across the stage like that. But these girls is dance around the stage like that. This dance is tells a story about the old Chinese butcher whose real arms he's get old, so he falls on his cleaver and dies. Don't cleaver these Chinese. Well, pretty old boy, let's go for to see the dancing girls in China.
Great cities in the gay nineties where everything is hostile in Boston. If you're hostile, you can see the Boston. <laughs> Things you're going to see again, it looks like Mae West, but it isn't. It's her twin sister, Easter Western. And with her is her uncle, the villain. This villain is trying to keep the twin sisters apart. That is where you get that saying. East is east and west is west, and never the twins shall meet. <laughs> The boys is rich me for the laughter. Now we're going to see the East or West of Sea. <laughs> that's the villain, and that's East or West. You see the guy on the couch. He says, I don't like you. You the homeliest man I ever see. Who, me? I don't can help that. Well, you can stay home once in a while. He stroke his mustache. Far on that mustache is four strokes. Up jumps his four lawyers, Rochester, Albany, Syracuse, and Cincinnati. They go into a huddle. Football players, Greek fellas, high-class kids. Looks like Rochester has Albany, Buffalo. Uh-huh. Will and Panders, he's cooking up a pot. I mean a plot. She walks over to the couch and she says, I think that's the four Marx brothers I can tell by the gouts of Mana. The four lawyers then shuffle off to Buffalo, stopping to color a man in Troy. He says, Primper to die, Primper to die. She grab him, she kiss him, and that baby knows how to kiss. He wilted, and so did the gun. When she see what she do to the gun, she says, Why don't you come up for to see me sometimes? That gun has got brems. She grab him and kiss him again, again and again and kiss him. He says, scramble, you act. I have work to do, kid. He decides to shoot the guy on the couch. He aim. He pull the trigger, fire, shoot himself in the foot. He died by the inches, no, by the foot. He reel. That makes two reels. The great actor is dead. The score is one down and one four to go. So she says, Hello, so tall and handsome. What do you say we get married? Well, he don't got nothing else to do, so he says it's hunky dooly with me, so they get married and they live happy ever after. Isn't that be gorgeous? Why, it's colossal. It's super colossal. The next scene, my secretary is explained to you. Go ahead, Mr. Vansburgess. Okay, boss. In the next scene, we're going to see the dancing girls again. Only this dance is about a man and wife who are walking through the Sahara Desert when they run out of water. The wife, after being delirious for three weeks, falls down exhausted and cries. If I don't have water, I'll die. Watch closely.
we can fly, Mark. What do you say, Spock? I think your picture's great. Will you take a hundred thousand dollars for it? Isn't it great, gentlemen? Hello, oh, boys. You having a nice time? Well, you play picture producers all day. Let's go now. Let's see if you're all here. One, two, three, four, five. And who are you? Well, I could just sell him a picture for one hundred thousand dollars, you know. Six, seven, eight. Come along, children. We've got to go home now. Well, how do you lie, <laughs> tell you one thing, young fella. Listen here. You've thrown us out of the theater into the gutter, and you hit me on the head. Now you've crossed our name off the board. I'm warning you now. I'm warning you. Don't go too far. Now what? We quit. I guess I told him a thing or two. Well, let me tell you a thing or two. Huh. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be thrown out of these theaters. Always fooling around with the girls instead of rehearsing the act. Yeah, I heard you tell that girl they're going to put her name in electric light. Is that what I said? Yeah. You know, I was thinking of something else. Let me tell you, from now on, I'm serious. No more girls. Strictly business. You mean that if I'm lying, I hope you drop dead. <laughs> you haven't got long to live, son. You in show business? He was. Did you ever hear a gobble, a hollow? Did you ever hear of a bowl of soup? Yeah, when do we eat? Oh, they're so mundane. What's that? <laughs> Lady, I can't help it if I'm just naturally hereditary. <laughs> Look out. I guarantee you that. Why you? And you? And you? And you? 
You know, your troubles are all over. You don't need this anymore. <laughs> are you a lucky man? I suppose uh, we're hired? Hired? But what do you want? What do we want? We're four waiters. And besides being waiters, we're four of the greatest entertainers that ever hit a cafe floor. I'll give you a sample. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you. Today. I don't know. I don't know. What are you going to do with it? The thing to do is to take it and divide it up equally. Yeah, we're only stalling around for something to eat, ain't we? Certainly. <laughs> All right, Chief. And don't talk back to the head waiter. You hear me, don't you, son? Don't talk back to the head waiter. And the customers are always right. There's an old, old saying. Heavy, heavy. What hangs over thy head. Back to the post, boy. Hurry up now. Into it. Hurry up there now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, this is the first time I ever carried a tray. I used to be a, a head man, head man, just like you. Only I was a tall, dark, thin fella with a mustache. You know, I worked in uh, Delmonico. <laughs> I worked in Sherry's. I worked in uh, Bacardi Rum. I worked in Gin, you know. <laughs> Here I go, another load. Did uh, you order uh, order roast beef? Oh, yeah. did, uh, lady, did you order roast beef? Yeah. They didn't order roast beef. <laughs> you didn't order by any chance. No, I guess you didn't order. Did uh, you order roast beef? Well, don't jump to conclusions. Lady, did uh, you order roast beef? No. Well, somebody's got to get this roast beef. Ladies and gentlemen, did anybody order roast beef? I can't get rid of this roast beef. Come on back here, I'll do it. Listen to me, please. You know this is a high-class place? This is where the real society people are. The real high-class society. The 400. Uh -huh. Junior, will you watch your P's and Q's, please? Well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mademoiselle Bonnie of the Tour. <laughs> Thank you. 
people are doing. Oh, <laughs> my mother wouldn't need to be a fool. This world is quite a place to live in. Put a smile upon your face and give in. Yes, sir. Find on the table. yourself, you three fellas. Here you are, eating the man's food, singing and having it. Don't talk back to me. Back to your work. What? Hey, back to your work. Don't talk back to me. Back to your work. You're the very, very difficult boys to handle. <laughs> now, right here is where I do my stuff. Okay.
give you a nickel apiece, you understand? We're all partners, don't worry. Come on, sir. I have traveled extensively. From Paris to Washington, Eddie DeFargo is looking one week. Hey, you know, the boiled beef here is very good. Uh, we don't want boiled beef. We want Petty DeFargo. Yeah, but the guy in that kitchen over there, he makes it like nobody. The boiled beef is very good. We don't want boiled beef. We want Petty DeFargo. Well, I, I don't want to argue with you. Hey, guys. hold it. You've been arguing with the customers again, huh? The customer's always right. You get that? Don't forget it. What do you want? I want Petty DeFargo. Well, then I see the bands and players. You guys know Canada. Wait a minute, hold this. Never argue with the customer. Remember, the customer's always right. This is a high class jerk. Well, pick them a circumstance. What do you want? Uh, want What's that. the matter? What's the matter? Hold it! You want? Hold it! You know I'm the boss, don't you? Get out of here, I'll challenge your life out. Hey, I got a tip for you. Yeah? What do you want? I'd like a ringside seat close to the officer. Hold it. Oh, uh, you can't get a ringside table here. Yeah? No, they're all taken. Oh, but I, I'd like to get up close where I can hear something. No, sir. Well, I, I'll tell you, my dear man, I uh, I have five dollars. He's got five dollars! Who's got five dollars? 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 Who's got